This is the real Tom Rose, and we're trying to figure out how many points two quadratic functions can intersect in. I think this is best understood um, through images. So let's draw some axes so we can draw so we can draw some quadratic functions. Quadratic functions, when plotted, will yield what's a, sh a special shape called a parabola. A parabola. I'll show the most normal quadratic function. Parabola is sort of a U-shape, symmetrical, so I'll do my best to draw it that way. That It's a U-shape that proceeds away from what's called the vertex, which is the point, the point of that parabola. Now, as you change, so in order to answer this question, you need to know in what ways parabolas can be changed. They cannot be rotated. So they'll always be symmetrical around the y-axis. Let's label these axes. Let's call this y and we'll call this x. So they'll always be symmetrical around the y-axis. You can't rotate them. What you can do is translate them left and right. So let's draw another, another parabola. And I'm going to start this time on the left and draw this upwards. Again, trying to stay symmetrical. So if we translate them left or right, you can see that we've created a single intersection point. So we know we can do at least one. Um, the question is how we could achieve more than one. You can also move parabolas up and down. If I move them up or down, let's stay with the pink one to start out with. If I move straight down, we'll have the same exact shape, which will never actually touch. So it'll run along the outside of the pink parabola, but they'll never touch. We could also try translating it up, which will have the same issue. The parabola will proceed up, but they'll never cross. In order to create more than one intersection point, you have to know another way to change these, which is you can, tr you can translate them down. So I'm gonna start down here and let's look at, let's compare the, the green parabola and the pink one. If we translate down and we also make it narrower, so you can change the steepness of these functions. So let's say that green is very steep. We can actually create two intersection points with the pink parabola. Now, since the green is steep and the pink is shallow, there will not be any further intersecting. The pink will continue to go out wide. The green will go up steep. So we've hit our maximum of two points of intersection. And the correct answer is B.